Walking with dude, walking with dude. He's a big white puppy with a lot of attitude. Yep, we're on doing another walking with dude. This is one of our usual haunts. We come here quite a few times in the summer and the winter time. We don't go too far up because unfortunately they have uh, clear cut sections of it. So we try and stay where we aren't reminded of the carnage, the tree carnage. There was a uh, quote from someone or other, could be, I mean, it could be as far back as Greek, uh, ancient Greeks, but I ran into it again. The gist of it is the smart man is the one who plants trees for the future, even knowing that he will never enjoy their shade or their fruit or anything else, but the future generation will enjoy them, and that's good enough for a good man. And I was thinking that that's kind of, I think, the reason that we're in the state that we are, the state of the world today, is because we don't have enough good men who, who know that they should be planting trees for the future generations instead of cutting them down. But the majority of men in leadership nowadays, well, they don't want to leave any resources behind for the up-and-coming generation. They basically just want, uh, well, they want us to, well, they want them, themselves, to make a profit, to make a fortune. Now, I mean, I think a lot of these, these guys don't even care about their own progeny, the future, because they have to know that a future without bees, for example, you know, if bees go extinct, it's going to be a painful, uh, basically a world of starvation. So why would you want that? Wouldn't you do everything you could to make sure that the future was bright for your loved ones? But, yeah. Ooh, there's some really good yarrow. That's ready to be harvested. I should come back. It's time to do it. I know when you live on the East Coast, usually harvesting is like the end of August for sage and yarrow. But, uh, here in Northern Minnesota, in fact... Sage is almost ready to be harvested. I have quite a, quite a few spots in my uh, yard, so it's almost that time. I'll leave a little offering to the goddess and harvest your medicine. Yeah, there's a lot of yarrow back here. I said in my last uh, video, it's very distinctive looking, and all my kids know yarrow. It's definitely something that you need to have for your bug out bag dried yarrow it lasts for a good long time it's a great disinfectant for wounds yeah it's just uh, good stuff good stuff from the mother's bosom yeah so that quote I my father was like that my father was very honorable and was all about the next generation and how important it was that we save spaces like this, you know? And if that means we have to sacrifice now by not making the money that we used to from the timber industry, from, you know, clear cutting, doing timber harvests on state and public lands, if, if we uh, can forego that for a couple of generations, we can leave we can leave a better world, a better world for our progeny and even their progeny. I mean, at this rate, by the time we 
actually figure it out and start to evolve and realize that we're not the end all be all well it might be too late so we definitely have to save spaces like this these beautiful gorgeous wild spaces oh that's it just a little short walking with dude i thought that quote was quite interesting of course it's not the exact quote but i'm sure you can find it it's basically basically again a good man will plant trees for the future even knowing that he will never once sit in their shade that's a good man guess what we need more good men and women in order to save this planet Duder, should we say that's it? Hey, dude, should we say bye bye? Bye bye.